Hey guys, this is um, the new uh, 4G modem from Clear that I picked up, uh, well it came in the mail today. Um, and uh, for a little perspective, I'm going to put a pack of gum next to it. So it's a pretty small device. Um, it, I mean, it, it, you can hold it in the palm of your hand. You could probably put it in your pocket. I don't know if I'd do that or not. but. Uh, anyway, uh, so far, uh, impressions, I, I, I like the device so far. Uh, it's got two buttons, one on each side. That's the power button, and this is the volume button. Um, well, it's not a volume button. It's actually a mute button, so you can mute and unmute the device. It only makes a tiny little noise, like a beeping sound when somebody connects, which I think is a great idea, uh, so I wouldn't change it. There's no other buttons. You can't actually navigate anything on the modem. You can't make any changes to settings or things like that here, which is a good idea also. Um, anyway, so this is it just displays the name of the um, wireless hotspot. Um, that's uh, the name I I gave it. It came with like a generic name. It it's, shows you the antenna, how many users are connected. So that's awesome. Three users connected. It's right now connected to my my computer via USB only because I'm trying to get it still charged. Uh, so right there, it's connected uh, to my PC. Uh, over here, I've just loaded up the, the router settings website, so you can tell, you know, it's got like the usual setup stuff, like firewall and router setup, so all that garbage. Uh, it tells you how many users are connected also, so it shows you the 4G uh, strength and how much battery you got left, so you got 51%. So for this test uh, today, I'm going to place it right here by the window. Um, and when I do that, as you can see, I've got a good four bars or five bars, whatever, on the, on the 4G setup, so I'm, I'm pretty strong. Uh, the package just is a very small package, comes in this, um, and the package this came with looked like, looked like some kid had wrapped it, but whatever, it arrived. Uh, it comes with this tiny little charger, which I also like because it's a USB uh, charger. I'm, I'm just going to guess that my iPhone charger will probably charge this just fine. Uh, and I've got tons of different USB chargers. So when I'm traveling, it'll be nice to have a generic device. Um, so anyway, uh, I've, right now the three users that are set up, uh, that, are, that are connected is my laptop, my iPhone, which I'm also using to film this video, and my uh, iPad, which is sitting in front of you doing, I was going to do the test. And hang on, let me enter the passcode. Okay, so I've loaded speed test. I've got this app on the, on the, this is an app on my iPad. It's actually an iPhone app that's running on my iPad. So it's connected to that device already, which is sitting right behind it. So it's only about a foot away. Not a great test, but it's also, it's going to give us a good base. Uh, so if I click begin test, da, 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 da. that's pretty quick ping time for a wireless device. And as you can tell, I mean, it is screaming it, it, for a, for a 4G hotspot indoors. I understand that's by a window, but that's still indoors. Uh, we're getting uh, pretty good results. Okay. So um, that looks like about done. So uh, as you can see, 7.6 down, 1.4 up. I've gotten as good as 10 on my laptop, but what I want to do now is I want to walk away to another room. Now, keep in mind, that's still set up by the window right there. And that's what they recommend you do with it. So uh, we're just going to leave it there. I'm going to walk into another room. And I'm going to walk into the complete opposite corner of my house. And I'm going to set this down. Now I'm near another window, obviously. But it doesn't matter because um, I'm nowhere near the device now. I'm a good 20 steps away from it. And let's see how that affected the test. So we're going to test it. Still pretty damn quick on the, oh, you know, this is actually a terrible test because even on my Wi-Fi, I get really bad um, results here in this room. Uh, this room is not particularly great um, for, for a distance test because there is no shortage of walls between me. There's one, two, three three walls now in between the device and me. So that's pretty pathetic. But if I stay same distance away, okay, same distance away, but clear of a few walls, okay, then I'll restart this test. 
and see if that does any better. So it's slightly better. It's obviously not as good as it is when you're sitting right next to the device. I'm a I'm probably I'm still two walls away um from the device. Okay, but uh slightly better, still not great. Uh so this result's not going to be that great either. Um but if I'm now the device is a good uh I'm going to say 15 feet from me. Uh in the room. I'm going to restart the test, but there's nothing in between. So it should be pretty screaming fast like it was before. Um, so about 15 feet, you're seeing a pretty noticeable drop. And we'll test it again up close just to make sure this isn't a fluke. But at 15 feet, I am somewhere near almost half of what it was when it was right next to it. So, they claim that you can be 150 feet from the device. I, I think that's a bunch of BS. Uh, and I've actually got the router at its highest uh, setting uh, as far as power goes. It's three power settings for the antenna. Okay, now we're right back next to it again, so I'm going to run the test one more time. I do trust uh, the, the results from uh, speed test for this, but, um, you know, your mileage might vary and you might disagree with this test. It's just, it is, it, 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 for me, it's been really consistent testing other things. So, um, you know, we're back to in the high sixes, which is, I believe the first round was at seven something. Uh, distance is definitely making a big difference here. Okay. Uh, no, no doubt about it, but let's see if, uh, see it's, it's powered now and let's see when I take the power off and we just got six, six, six which is a little odd. Um, and I've unplugged it now from power. So now it's powered on its own battery and let's see if that makes a difference. And we're same distance. Let's see if we can get that six, six something again. Um, okay. So that, that, that to me is consistent enough with the, with the result to say that the battery is probably as good as having it being plugged in. So, and that's some good consistency that we've got there. So I'm pretty happy with the device uh, for a few reasons. Uh, one, it is a 4G device, which is, uh, which is pretty awesome. Two, uh, I am indoors, okay? This is not giving it a fighting chance. If you, if you talk to the reps on, uh, on the phone, they tell you, you, pro you wanna do this outdoors. So uh, I think that would be the best test for it, uh, outdoors. Um, and, I'll sh and I'll display the device again one more time for you guys here uh, and there, the battery goes here in the back the case is kind of hard to open anyway I'm not going to open it right now but this kind of small battery in, inside uh, and I believe those are probably antennas not sure I can't be sure anyway uh, yeah so the device is pretty sweet um, so far very happy with it haven't left the house with it yet so I don't know how it's going to perform when I'm moving when I'm like on the road, one of the different locations, but inside my house, it is fantastic. Uh, it, it is, it, it does have four bars here. So, um, or, or five bars when I put it by the window. So that's, that's pretty strong signal, obviously. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm lucky that way. Um, but, uh, I think overall that's this device so far is good. Um, and I, I don't know much about the battery life yet. Uh, I will post about that in another follow-up video in a couple of days when I feel like I, I know the device a little better. Um, and my intention for this device is we're, we're gonna I'm gonna give them to some of my sales guys and they're gonna be on the road with it uh, doing demos. And and there's really no great unlimited devices out there right now. So clear right now, well, I don't know how this is going to fare out after their, their recent debacle with Sprint, but um, right now they offer this device with a monthly, month to month, monthly subscription fee, and it's unlimited downloads. Okay. That's pretty incredible um, that you can use this fast device for unlimited downloads. I mean, you could do gaming with this. You could do you know, full streaming video. It does get smudged pretty badly, just as you can tell. I've handled it for only about five minutes here, and it's uh, it's got all kinds of smudges all over it. So, 
But anyway, um, uh, that's all I got to say about it for now. Uh, and I will have a better update in a few days uh, when I uh, test it out a little bit more. Thanks.